In this video, we're gonna talk about how to use social media for your acting career. Social media can help you network and create relationships, but if used the wrong way, it can make you look foolish, unprofessional, and thirsty. I'm Giselle, I'm an acting coach in New York City as well as an actor, and I know what it's like to start a career from scratch, and I just wanna help you make it a little bit easier. is where we go when we want to find out more about someone and people in the industry are no different they will Instagram you they will Google you and it's up to you to make sure you control what they see create an awesome first impression have your name as the username or handle depending on the social media that you're using but there should be no underscores and no numbers make it your name or a variation of and I know that gets difficult but you can be creative just make sure whatever your handle is is that handle across all the platforms that you are active on and then your bio you want to make sure that your bio says that you're somebody in the industry if I'm in the industry and I look at your bio and I can't tell what you do, there's a problem. Be professional. Speaking of business, take your phone right now, go through your social media and delete anything that is unprofessional, over sexualized, or just those face filters, get them off. If I'm hiring you for your face and your face has a picture of a dog on it, come on. Now that's okay for the stories, but you want to keep your posts as professional as possible. You need to make a decision right now about what you will and won't post. We live in a really interesting time where conversations are being had online and people are making political stands and stuff online. Uh, there are some people who would tell you don't post anything political, don't post anything that might make someone make a decision about how they feel about you. I personally feel a little bit differently. I feel like there's some things that need to be said. I just focus on the positive, so I would never speak negative about anything. I would only highlight the things that are important to me in a positive light. But you have to make a decision. What are you going to do? Remember, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Do you need two profiles? I know I give you a lot to think about, and so you might be concerned or whether or not you just need to make a whole nother page. You might. The question is, how much do you care? For me, it's not that big of a deal. What you see is what you get. So my professional Instagram has a lot of my personal life in there, but it's all super appropriate and super professional and fun. Now, if there's something that I want to post or event that I want to make, I use Instagram close friends in the story so that only the people that I really, really know can see it. And that's enough for me. If that's not for you, then you probably need to make more than one profile. Just know that most of your energy really does need to go to your branded social media accounts. And so keeping up with two might be more work than it's worth. Just make sure whatever you decide, you can keep up. Play the functions, whether it's IGTV for Instagram or native video on LinkedIn, use the new features, the algorithm favors it. Take up real estate. All posts are not created equally. You know how you're scrolling on Instagram and there's some posts that are landscape but very skinny and then some posts are really big? If you know your ratio, you can know how to make sure all of your photos end up taking up the most space possible. You want to use 1080 by 1350 or the ratio 4-5. Be a person, not a robot. One fourth of your content should be watch me in this thing or watch my new monologue or watch my new video. The rest of it should be you being a person. So yes, maybe you'll show us going to an audition. Maybe you'll show us studying your lines, but you probably will also show us your dog's birthday or the time you went out with your friends and got really cute mani patties. We just want to see that you are a regular person. Join the party, talk to other people, share with other people, share what your friends are doing. Go under people's photos and comment and like. Make sure you're not walking into the party that social media is screaming about yourself and walking out without engaging with anyone. That's rude. 
All right, that's all the tips that I have for you today. If there's one tip that you're gonna run out and do right now, share it in the comments below. If there's something that we didn't talk about that you would love to share with us, let us know. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, wishing you love, light, and all that jazz.